Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. I'm Gloria Copeland, and one of our favorite pals, George Pearson's back with us today, and he's got some more good word about finances, abundance. Praise God. Living in the overflow. Living in the overflow. Gloria. That is a place to live, George. That's I'm right. liking it already. <clears throat> Living in the overflow. Yeah. I'm so glad to be on the broadcast with you. I'm glad to have you. Once again, this is our 321st broadcast together on prosperity. Well, you know, it's time for us to get in the overflow. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And uh, we just we just have such a great time together. We were talking before we started taping today and we we talked about a new a new revelation. Oh yeah, I already forgot what it new was. New revelation, age reversal. Age reversal. Which we're not going to get into it on these broadcasts, but that sure is a great topic, isn't it? It is a great topic, well, but we don't <clears throat> quite have the details yet. <laughs> yes. Well, well, we do know this. Our youth is renewed like the That's eagles. Right. That's so it. The That's it. The renewing enough. The renewing of our youth is the age reversal. And we were talking about Kenneth and how great Kenneth Copeland looks. 81 years old and he doesn't no. whatever 81 years old is supposed to look like. I thought That's about you it. the other day. We were watching we were watching a John Wayne movie at home and they had a a woman that stepped out and she was all she she was she was probably in her 40s but they dressed her up like like a granny. Granny grump. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought I thought about the comments that you've made about that about how how much older they they dress them up and make them look. Mm -hmm. And we are, we're in a time right now of the supernatural. And to look at, to look at you and to look at Kenneth and to see what you are doing and what you're involved in. You know, by this time we were talking about age 65. Oh, that's young. And, and <laughs> you're talking about if, if you, you, you would have retired some years ago. That's right. But you're still going strong. You and Kenneth are still going strong. He is preaching Praise all over God. the world. Oh, I, I'll tell you, he's a sight. And the revelation that's coming out of him is just astounding. And I'm looking forward to the, the gloriisms that are going to come out of these broadcasts together. What about the Georgiasms. <laughs> the Georgiasms. Okay. Well, I, I think that, that as we go through this, Gloria, we're, we're talking about um, a subject that is so, it's so exciting to me because let me, let me tell you a little bit about the background of this. Uh, Terry and I had taken a couple of days off, went to a hotel over in Dallas and just mm -hmm. beautiful place and just resting. And she'd gone down uh, to get her nails done. And I was up in the room. I was on the balcony by myself. And within about a two hour period of time, this whole series was birthed. Wow. Scriptures, thoughts, ideas, concepts. Praise God. And the Lord started talking to me about living in the overflow and like that, that we, we are not to live in a place of, of just enough, mm -hmm. but we're to live in that place that. of more than more enough. More than enough. The, the excess, the overflow. And so the Lord was laying that out before me. And of course, all of these outlines are available to you on kcm.org. Just go to the picture of Glory and me on the website and you can download these. And Glory, we've had in the times that we have uh, taped together, we have had over a million downloads Isn't of these that notes. Amazing? Over a million Christ, of these notes Thank downloaded. Thank you, everybody, for watching. So, Gloria, we're going to talk about in these next two weeks this whole concept of living in the overflow. Okay. I'll living in a place of the overflow. And the the foundation scripture for this study I started is, to write down over a million from my notes here. Over a million, yeah. And so I just Wrote overflow. Overflow. That's it. That's <laughs> it right there. Overflow is the concept. And so that's the, the uh, foundation scripture is there on your page. It's at the top and it's John 10, 10 and it's the amplified translation. And let me read it to you. Okay. The thief comes only in order to steal, kill and destroy. I came yes. that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full Till it overflows. Oh, isn't that good? Isn't that a wonderful wow. scripture? Yeah. I just, I get chills just reading that, looking at that. The Praise thief has God. come to kill, steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came, Gloria, that we might have his life. That's, right. That's that resurrection life. Amen. <clears throat> That's the life, Gloria, within us that causes us to experience age reversal. 
the, the continual <laughs> renewing, the, the continual renewing. A-R. A-R, age, age reversal. reversal. <laughs> or or uh, to, to the place where we are enjoying, having life, and then it says enjoy life. The, the will of God is for us to have His life, the Zoe life, yeah. the God kind of life, but also to enjoy life. Have and enjoy life. <clears throat> have and enjoy Christ life is. and have it in abundance. And it says to the full and Christ. until it overflows. Mm, That's where we are. Like we are talking about living in the overflow. Yeah. And let and, me and give the you. The thing about it is anybody yeah. can do it. <clears throat> That's right. We started out minus. We started out minus. I mean, by that we were in debt mm -hmm. that we couldn't just pay off. And uh, you can start out minus. Right. And if you'll get in the overflow, it's your choice. It comes from the written Word of God. Believe That's in right. what God says in His Word, acting on it, believing it, taking it. Yes, yes. You can have it. You can have it. So it really, God is no respecter of persons. That's right. He's no respecter of the overflow. It's available to anyone who will exercise their faith, believe God, and as Gloria Copeland says, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Think about it. Now, what is one thing, just there's a number of things, but what is the main thing that God recognizes that changes things? Faith. Yeah. Believe in what He yeah. said. Just believe Him. Say it. Act That's on it. Right. Expect it. That's right. Ooh, I exactly. like Exactly. I'm already happy, George. Well, there are a, few, a couple of things I wrote down okay. in that first part there that as I was studying this and, and that day on that balcony as as I was getting this, this download from heaven, the Lord said some things to me and he said, he said, there are too many that are struggling financially just to get by. Yeah. That's just true. to get I by. He said, they're barely surviving instead of thriving. And he said, some are living paycheck to paycheck. Now that, <clears throat> that paycheck to paycheck, he said, they're having to decide which bills to pay this month and which bills not to pay. Now, I know you've been there. There's a lot of, I have been. I know. I was, was thinking. No fun. I, I know. I was thinking about <clears throat> what you were telling one time about being in a store, grocery store, and pushing the cart mm -hmm. and hoping that you would have enough money by the time you went to the checkout counter to be able to pay for right. the food that you were getting. That's so no. If you see somebody going around <clears throat> praying in tongues, tongues with the grocery cart, <laughs> Give them some money. Give them some money. <laughs> and that's what you were doing. You were praying in tongues. <laughs> you, were, you were believing God <clears throat> just to be able to get by and, and to have enough. Yeah, that's and, right. And I just thought well, about... we didn't. We that, just had... That's all we had. That's all you had. What we had. What we had. What you had is what you had. Hands, that was, that was all had. that you had. And <clears throat> it's difficult. People are having to go through that right that's now. Right. They're having to decide, which bill should I pay for? Which bill can we hold off on? A lot on? of people are like that. <clears throat> and it's a terrible thing to be so behind in your bills that you've got bill collectors calling and you don't want to answer your phone because somebody's calling and trying to, to get their money from and you. And the devil says, don't tithe. <clears throat> Pay yeah. a bill with this money. Yeah, that's right. Dummy, don't tithe. That's right. That's isn't right. That, isn't that the way he does? So he keeps control that way. He does. Tithing breaks the he power does. of the lack. Tithing, oh, well, that's good. Tithing breaks the power of lack. Of lack. Yes, and is. so we can't quit giving and we can't quit tithing. And, and the Lord said to me, He said, there's too, there's too much month at the end of the money. That's Have right. you heard that phrase? Yeah. Too much month at the end of the money. And I was, I thought about that phrase, Gloria, and I, I went online and I, I looked up, I just looked up their phrase, too much month at the end of the money. And you know what I found? I found a song. It's a country song. It and sounds like a country. Here, look at here. I hear the lyrics to this song. You want me to sing it? It's, yeah, go ahead and sing it to me. <laughs> Forget that. And uh, it's okay. a country song and it says, I paid the bank note, the car note, and yes, I paid the phone bill too. And then I turned around and I found that the house notes do. Well, I'd love to take you out like I said I would, honey, but there's too much month at the end of the That's money. That's good, George. <laughs> so, okay, here's the next verse. Well, <clears throat> I got a little favor I want to ask of you, my love. Why don't you find that hole in my pocket and sew it up? 
Yeah, I thought I'd save some, but you know, it's funny. There's too much month at the end of the money. And then there's a little interlude <laughs> part that says, all gone. Oh, heaven only knows. All gone. Oh, where on earth it goes. But it sure goes. Well, sometimes I think it blows away. It then here's like the, a country song. It is, it is, it is a country song. <laughs> oh, man. It, then the next verse. I went down to the bank this morning about half past nine. Well, I was looking for a little something in the credit line. But the man said, look what we got here, Sonny. There's too much month at the end of the money. I'd love to take you out like I said I would, honey, but there's too much month at the end of the money. There's too much month at the end of the money. That so that's, that's, I found that's that country. Good. And that is so true with so many people. That should not be our song. No, that's not our song. That's not our song. That's no. not. Our needs are met according to his, his riches, riches in, in glory, glory by, by Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. That's exactly that's right. That's why we are not in that position. That's right. And we don't, we don't confess that. We don't say that. Mm -hmm. And I really do believe that these two weeks that we have together are going to be a breakthrough encouragement time to our partners yes. and those that are Amen. watching. Amen. And they're going to experience breakthrough in their finances and they're going to walk in the overflow. That's right. And even, <laughs> even if all your bills are paid, there's always increase. There's always increase. With the tither. Even though your bills are paid, yeah. there's always, yeah. there's always increase. That's right. Well, the Lord said to me, he said, they have no reserve in their savings account, even if they have a savings account. And it's so important to have a reserve. It's so important. It's, it's the, the will of God because he says in Deuteronomy 28 that he would command the blessing yes, on right. our storehouses. Our storehouses are blessed. So you got to have more than enough to have a storehouse. You have to have more than enough. If Maybe you're we'll have just a call this more than enough. More, I think that's a great title too. <laughs> Living in the overflow or more, more than, than enough. enough. More okay. than enough. I like it, Gloria. I like it. I'll, I'll do that. I'll keep that okay. too. More than enough. Um, got it. Uh, that's, that's, so that's living in the blessing. That's living in the blessing of God. So that's our third title, living in the blessing. <laughs> that's right. We got a lot of titles on this one. This is see, we got an overflow of titles. We do. We, we do. have more than enough titles than we need. Okay. Well, let's so, choose all of them. So the the Lord said to me, He said, "We have to. We've got to change our mindset." So He gave me this scripture, <clears throat> and I wrote it down here on the page, Gloria. Romans eight sixteen through seventeen. Yeah. The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. We are heirs of God. We are. We are children. We're children of the King. And I remember you said this one time, you and I were doing a series called Heirs of God. And you said, you said, I was born into the royal family, not a royal family, right. but the royal family. And the royal family has everything. The second time I was born. The second time you were born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was born into the royal family. It's a different thing the first yeah. time you were born. That's it was a right. little, little different. Right. But the second time you were born, mm -hmm. we were, if we're born, if you're born again, then you are, you've been born into the royal family. Amen. You've been, you've been adopted into that family, accepted into that family. And uh, the Lord said, he said, people need to realize they are children of the King. That's right. And in the kingdom, there is overflow. You know, seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom of God, of God and, and his righteousness. And all these things shall oh. be added to you. Yep. Now, I didn't make that up. That's Bible. Mm -mm. That's scripture. That's Ooh, right. Glory That's exactly God. right. So we, he started to tell me this. He says, you've got to renew your mind to the fact that you, you belong to the royal family. We are heirs of God. And, and it says that Jesus is heir of all things. So, so if we're he, joint heirs too. We're joint heirs. So if we are, if we are heirs of all things then, and we are joint heirs with him, that means that belongs to us as well. And that the Lord wants us Good. to live in a place of overflow more than enough for us to be blessed beyond measure. Yeah. Glory, these are all those are all little statements that the Lord has been giving to me that's at good. night. That's sometimes good. when I when I lay down to go to sleep, I will start saying this to myself. I will say, 
<clears throat> and I've got it written down in another paper that I'll give to you, this confession. Yeah. But things like, I'll just lay there and say, I'm living in the overflow. God has given me, yeah, a, He's given me a surplus a good thing to do. of prosperity. I have more than enough. My storehouses are full and overflowing. I'll just lay there and I'll say these things. These are all scriptural things that we will cover yeah. in this study good, that we have good. together. But instead <clears throat> of lying there saying, ooh, ooh, this is January the 15th. Mm. What am I, what am I going to do now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, a lot of people what? do that, George. Yeah, that's right. Where they could, be mutter, they could be muttering the word that gives them deliverance instead yep. of muttering their fear. Their fear. Yeah. Oh, Gloria, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, stop. Okay. They right. could be muttering, they could be muttering because the word meditation is also in the Greek and Hebrew, it's the word mutter. So it's muttering the, they could be muttering the, what did you word say? Of God. The Word of God instead of muttering on the fear. So what would they yep. be doing? They would be muttering the truth about the matter. The truth. So I live. So word I'm of God. muttering in bed. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm muttering. I say, what are you doing? I'm muttering in bed. And I'll just tell myself. I said, <laughs> I'll say, God is increasing me more That's and more, good. my children and me. And I'll just—we're laughing, but I'm telling you, you know, it's this, powerful. It really is. That is such a truth, Gloria. And the things that you're saying, that this, we, you know, you said we could be muttering words of deliverance, the truth of the matter. I really like that, rather than muttering the words of fear. That's right. And if you're, <laughs> you said this, if you're living in the underflow, you're muttering. What am I going to do? That's right. What am I going to do? And if you don't know the Word of God, you're going to be muttering the wrong thing. That's right. And, so, and, and like it, not just money, but uh, sickness and disease. Exactly. Muttering to exactly. yourself. Exactly. To what, yourself. You know, you've got a bad report yep. from the doctors. Yep. You've got six months, months to live. You're going to have to say something big. You're going to have to get on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You can't keep muttering, I, I'm going to die. And everybody that comes in, that you tell them, I've only got six months to live. No, we mutter, by His stripes we, we are were healed. healed. That's right. We don't actually murder it. We holler it. Yeah, that's right. We holler it. And that's, that's what I've been doing at night. I've just been laying there in bed muttering. To my, <laughs> George, what are you doing? I'm muttering. <laughs> and I mutter to myself. I'm, I'm living in the overflow. You're, you're I have, that word. I have a surplus of prosperity that yeah. comes, and we'll study that out in Deuteronomy right. oh, 28. Oh, that'll be good. Um, we ha I have more than enough. I think about <clears throat> more, more than enough is more than what can be calculated. Um, I'm, here's another one I'm, I mutter, and I think about, I, I am furnished in abundance Amen. for every good work and charitable donation. And I have more than I need. I have more than I need. Glory. That's right. More than I need. Yeah. So the Lord, the Lord talked to me about the fact that you've got to see yourself as a child of God, that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus, and that we have a covenant of provision with Him. Amen. And that covenant Amen. provision includes everything we would ever need. Now, how do you get that information to mutter? Right here. You go over That's and it. over That's the, it. Uh, if it's finances, you go over the financial yep. scriptures yep. that tells you God will meet your needs according to His riches and glory and many, many others. If it's healing, you, you mutter, you lie in bed at night That's and right. you mutter, That's by right. His stripes I was healed. I am healed. Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried Amen. my diseases. Amen. And by His stripes I was healed. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you just have to and even if you're out and you, you can't do all those things out loud, you just sit there. You just sit there and think about smile it. Smile and think through the word that yep. says, by his stripes yep. I was healed. Hallelujah. That's a real discipline, Gloria, to it do is. that. It because is. Because your mind, if you don't keep your mind in check, it'll begin to wander yeah. and it'll, it'll, if it's let loose like that, it'll float down the river That's of right. doubt. It'll float down the river That's of right. fear. But you have to harness that and yeah. take control of it and, and make a determination right. that, and I heard a man say this one time, that you, 
you renew your mind to such a degree that you can't even think lack. That's good. It that's never true. enters your mind. It that's never true. crosses your mind. So we have well, to do that. Well, that's called <clears throat> renewing your mind. And that's exactly you the last. You renew it from lack to abundance that's based the last, on the Word of God. That's the last point on your outline as we finish up. Where, where do we begin on, on living in the overflow or living in the place of more than enough? Yeah. Romans 12, 2, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind right. so that you may prove what is that good and acceptable prove and it. perfect will of God. That's good, isn't it? And the Lord said this to me. He said, we must renew our minds to a world of abundance and overflow that we've never known of before. Praise God. He said, we, you must not limit the Holy One of Israel. He said, our God is not a God of not enough. That's not Him. Our God is not even a God of just enough. Our God is the God Amen. of more, more than, than enough. enough. Yes. More Amen. than That's enough. Good. So living in the overflow or living in a place of more than enough, I like your title, more than enough. Living in that place simply means that you have enough money to give your tithes, to give your offerings, to pay all of your bills yes. with on time. much, on time, more, than, more enough. than enough, with much left over much left at the over. end of the month. Yes. That is what living in the overflow is all that's about. Good. And that's what God wants us to do. That's what He wants us to do. Now, we have one minute left, and I'm going to read go you ahead. this last scripture. Okay. This is, and we'll read it again, Glory, as we go along, but this is the Rick Renner translation of Philippians 4.19. It says, My God will supply your needs so completely Mm -hmm. that He will eliminate all your deficiencies. Yes, I like that. He will meet all your physical and tangible needs until you are so full, you have no more capacity to hold anything else. He will supply all your needs until you are totally filled, Amen. packed full, and overflowing to the point of bursting at the seams and spilling over. Way to go, Rick. I like that. <laughs> that is a great so, translation. You take Philippians 4.19, you break it down in the yeah. Greek, and that's what you get. Praise God. Overflow. 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 More And it'll than be enough. good if that's something you want to change or if you want to maintain, mm. you just say, I'm living in the overflow. That's right. I'm, how you doing? I'm living I'm in living the in overflow. The, oh, I like that, Gloria. <laughs> how you doing today, George? I'm living in the overflow. Me too. Glory to God. George and I will be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.